Sometimes when you take a trip to the Palouse, your opposition has you right where they want you. Martin Stadium in Pullman, Washington, our scene today. Warm-ups just concluding, fans starting to fill their seats, just about set for kickoff. That's going to do it here in the studio, but don't worry, we'll be keeping your finger on the pulse of everything that's going on everywhere else across the country. But right now, it's time for kickoff, and ESPN's college football, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet are on the call. Martin Stadium, located in the fertile lands of Pullman, Washington, is flowing with excitement as these fans make some noise. EA Sports and ESPN bring you this exciting college football game. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Kirk Herbstreet, and we'll hear from Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Today's college football action is brought to you by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. We've got Louisiana Monroe Warhawks and the Cougars of Washington State. set to bring you more exciting football as the bowl and national championship pictures start to take shape. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Tigers came into the game ranked third. That's not going to last. And for Virginia, their hot streak continues. And for McDonald, he found Peter twice in this one. Meanwhile, the Horned Frogs were ranked number 13. They took care of business, and they should hold their spot next week. Here was a game where both teams dispensed with the pleasantries. TCU gets the W, 34-17. Thanks, Reese. No score in this one. I don't know about you, but this one feels like it's going to be a great ball game. Aaron and out long. And he's got it. Going the other way now. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback. And once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going, and he made the pick. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Brothers get six yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Pick up. I think you got to give credit to the big boys up front there. They're able to get this back to room that he needed. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37 yard line. Play fake. Tackle around the 30-yard line. That's a game seven. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Look. 
Gives it up the gut. And they make the stop around the 17-yard line. They've got a solid drive going here. And I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board. First and 10. Ball on the 17. He'll get the call again. The 10. They went back to the exact same play they just ran, and judging by the slow reaction on the other side of the ball, it was unexpected. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Looking for Peter. Found it. Touchdown. Took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. They'll go for two in this situation. Washington State is up by six. They don't get it. So a five-play, 42-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. It's one thing to give up some yards defensively, but when you're getting pushed around up front on the defensive line and the team's running the football, boy, it can be demoralizing. It just can take the will and the fight away from the defense. They've got to do something to make some adjustments to regain their confidence. So the score now, 6-0. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. Brown on first down. Now he tries to buy some time. And they get the sack. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. That's a great tackle at the 15-yard line. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Third and long now after the sack. So this crowd is making their presence felt. Looks to pass. Let's it go. Picked off. It's the cornerback. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Let's check out Chapel Hill. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for FSU, they're sleepwalking through this thing. If they don't turn it around, they're going to get into a world of trouble. And for Ewing, he's thrown for a pair of touchdowns. All right, Reese, 6-0 in this one. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Washington State up six. The halfback with a carry. Inside the 10. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And they're looking to get two points here. Gives it off, and he comes up short on the two-point conversion. 
With an extra point, you know it's almost automatic. But picking up those yards for the conversion, as they just found out, isn't so easy. Wilson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And this is just a booming kick. He's to the 10. They'll bring him down at the 21. This drive will start at the 21-yard line. Right side with the option. And he hits him hard at the 17-yard line. That might have actually been a situation where he should have kept it. The back didn't have any room to run. From their own 17-yard line, it's second down. Gets to about the 17-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. It's absolutely deafening down there. Look at the throw. And down he goes at the 20-yard line. Mayfield picks up about three with that catch. That'll make it fourth and ten. Thompson is the punter. He's tackled at the forty-five. They'll go to work at the 45-yard line. They go to the ground game, and he carries the ball for a nice game. Brothers comes away with five yards on the carry. That brings up second and five. From midfield, second down. And they'll run him again. He's at the 40. Gets out to around the 38. From the 38-yard line, first down. He's taken down at about the 35. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice, solid tackle. Second and seven. Ball on the 35. Takes the ball inside. Makes it out to about the 23. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. From the 23-yard line, first down. There's a strike complete. He's taken down around the three-yard line. You feel bad to criticize anybody for being aggressive, but if he wouldn't have been on the play action, I don't know if they would have been able to pick up the first down. First and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. A long way is yet to go, but at the end of one, Washington State's lead is 12. It's second and goal. Ball on the four-yard line. Uh. 
They go with the run. Touchdown, Cougars. That gives him another touchdown to go along with the one he scored earlier. That was just an excellent individual effort to find the end zone. So the offense is going to go for two. And he's in for two. A six-play, 50-yard drive. And they add eight to the scoreboard after that successful two-point conversion. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Washington State is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 10. Makes it to the 22-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it again at five yards. That brings up second and five. Appears that he's changing things up here before the snap. They'll go with a run once again. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it third and three. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He might be playing a cat and mouse game here with the defense. Finds his man. First down. And he's level at the 34-yard line. The offense gets a first down here, and you got to give them some credit. But really, this is more about the defense. When, when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium, you've got to be able to put pressure on a quarterback, especially when they're passing the football, and try to get your own offense the ball back. And that time, they let their own offense down. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Brought down at the 41-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. They'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. And he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. We take you out to this clash in the Big Ten. The Buckeyes keep pounding away on the ground, and they find pay dirt. Ohio State leads it 13-7. Well, if that score holds up, that would be water cooler talk on Monday morning. And here's another third down. Drops back to pass. He's under some heat. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. That's a gain of 31 on the play. First down. And he doesn't like what he sees. He's going to change the play here. Scrambling around. And the defense picks it up. They work hard and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Little handoff. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. And for Brothers, he hits the century mark. 100 yards rushing in the game. You just can't say enough about the job the offensive line has done. They've kept the running lanes open and given him all kinds of space to maneuver. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. Hands it to the back. 
He's at the 30. Gets out to around the 25. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run. And that creates chances in the play-action passing game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. They hand it off again. And he will score. He's got two touchdowns on the ground today. This guy has great vision out of the backfield. Even if a hole isn't there, he's patient enough to wait for one to open, and then he hits it. And they're going for two here. I guess they just want to rub it in. Washington State comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. He gets another carry with a three-play, 62-yard drive. And they get eight points after that two-point conversion. You know, this offensive line has done a really good job. But really, I think it's more about the big play ability from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Roach takes it up the middle. They'll bring him down at the 35. That's a game of 10 on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Got a throw here on third and short. He's wrapped up for the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. Cook will be the return man. He's to the 40. He makes it to the 45-yard line. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's get you up to date on what just happened in Columbus. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Michigan State, they're having all kinds of trouble so far. The Buckeyes have the lead, 16-14. Well, you can never look ahead a week, but that would be a pretty big upset if that score holds. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Washington State. Up big. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. Loss of three on the play. That brings up second and 13. From their own 42-yard line, second down. Rawls, back to pass, throws it deep, through his hands. The pass ball is incomplete. Cook was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and 13.
Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. He's looking to pass. Here's a quick throw. Great concentration. That was actually pretty good defense, but a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. Back to pass. And he might want it all here and does! Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. How about the quarterback after he threw that football? That He's running over to get ready to make the tackle, and the defender drops the football. The quarterback and the offense caught a break there. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. He drops back. This one's going deep to the end zone. No, incomplete. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. They'll line it up again on third down. Washington State looking to put this game away if they score here. Drops back to pass, throws it. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Wilson, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. So it's fourth down. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. This is kind of a surprising call right here by the coach. This is an obvious punting situation. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Looking to throw. Deep ball. Laying it out there. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Second down. Ten yards to go. Ball on the 24. Looks to pass. Tackle right around the 10-yard line. And that's it for the first half, and this game is getting ugly. Washington State's got a huge lead. Well, let's see if one team is overconfident as we're just about set to start the second half. He'll return it from the one. Oh, man, he took him down hard. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. They'll take over at the 24-yard line. Washington State looking to build on this commanding lead here. They go with the back, and he's got room. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. He 
It's first and ten. Ball on their own 35. Brothers gets it on the inside. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. From their own 47-yard line, first down. And off to the right. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That makes it second and eight. From their own 48-yard line, second down. On the ground, inside. Makes it out to about the 36. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. From the 36-yard line, first down. Taken down around the 35-yard line. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From the 35-yard line. Second down. Washington State in control. Hand off to the back. Look out. Makes it to the 14. From the 14-yard line, it's first down. They give to the tailback. Brought down at about the three-yard line. Impressive might be an understatement, folks. He's at 200 yards rushing. He might get the big numbers in the box score, but this has been a team effort all the way around, and everybody deserves some credit. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Taken down at the two. They're at the two. It's second down. He's tackled at the one yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. They've dotted the I, the horseshoe is rocking. Ohio State in action over in Columbus. Let's take a look at this one again. A tight game, two relentless fighters exchanging blows. And for Patrick, he's punched one into the end zone on the ground. Ohio State leads it 19-17, middle of the third quarter. A 28 to nothing shutout right now here, Reese. The defense backed up into their own end zone. It's third and goal from the one. Washington State looking to add to this big lead here. They run it, and he's in. He's been a force getting to pay dirt three times. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. I really don't see why they think it's necessary to go for two points here. Ready, 
Here's a handoff, left side. A 10-play, 77-yard drive, and they come away with a two-point conversion. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. So the score now, 34-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He puts it deep downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Yeah, the defensive coordinator made it a priority to put some pressure on this quarterback. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. Spider! Spider! Huh? Looks left, intercepted. To the 20, the 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. And it looks like they'll continue to rub it in here. They're lining up for two. Washington State with a big advantage. They go on the ground and fail on the two-point conversion. These are the kind of inexplicable calls that could lead to fights or any other kind of nonsense. Good for the defense to make that stop. Wilson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. It's been a tough outing for this quarterback, Herbie. Well, this is a defense's best opportunity to show what they can do to be able to dominate a football game. And if you're an offense, you might be able to move the ball, but if you're turning the ball over and you're having sacks on every other play, you just can't move the ball effectively. It's been an ugly game by both offenses, really. So even though he's made his share of mistakes, he can still be a hero. The offense will take over at the 25. Let's go, hot. Brown drops to throw. And a quick throw. And Some down he goes at the 35-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Now he's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Try to change the play. Throws a bullet over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Trying to confuse the defense here with the audible. He scrambled, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. He'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. Can't find anyone open. Room around the corner. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. Gain of 11 yards. First down. They're changing the play. He's scrambling. Bumbo! Scoops it up. And he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. From the 38-yard line, second down. He tries to buy some time. He's got the corner. Decides to slide. Call it a gain of four yards. Third down. Huh? 
That could be a check with me right there. He's on the run. And he's going to come up with a sack. I mean, this is almost getting ridiculous. That is sack number eight. This guy's going to have to spend a half an hour in the ice tub after this game. It's just been shot after shot all day long. Where's the offensive line? Los and it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. That's three down and one to go. The Cougars are up big. He drops back. He zips it. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. That's a gain of 29 on the play. That makes it first and goal. the seven. It's second down. Drops back to pass. Fires quickly to the tight end. So they go to the air and they come away with six, Kirk. Man, Brad, I got to tell you, that's not an easy thing to do there. The defenses nowadays are so tough when you get inside the red zone. Washington State's going to use their first time out of the hat. Half here. The call in the field is under review. So the call on the field stands. And he adds the extra point. It was an 11 play, 73 yard drive, and a touchdown's a result. Putting up good numbers. Well, it's a lot of fun when you're not getting touched until you get to the second level of the defense. That way he has plenty of room to be able to make some big plays. And this is just power running football weather. Old school, row up your sleeves and find out who the toughest guy is. And those guys up front on the offensive line are having the best time of their lives. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. the 34 yard line second down Washington State comes to the line they got a big advantage in this one on the ground left side tackle at the 35 I'm not even sure the ball carrier saw the corner coming for him that happened so fast he never had a chance to make a move
third down now and they need to get it to the 29. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call it a gain of five yards. That'll bring up fourth and one. So they're going to go for it here. And they don't get the first. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. And he tackles him hard at the 38-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Roach takes the give. Stevens at the tackle. Nice run, and he's brought Three down. Seven yards. That makes it first and ten. He might be playing a cat and mouse game here with the defense. Back to pass. Quick throw to the tight end. And they make the stop at the 47. Up second and nine. Less than three minutes in the game. Possibly changing the play here prior to the snap. He's going to try and scramble. That's a great tackle at the 44. That's good for a gain of nine yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Here's the option. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. From the 46-yard line, second down. Looks to pass. The Cavalry's coming. He's wrapped up for the sack. That's sack number nine. They got him again. It's been quite a special game for this pass rushing defense. So the sack makes this third and very long. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's looking to pass, throws a bullet. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Cook, back to return it. At the 24-yard line. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Spartans came into the game ranked sixth. After that performance, they're going to fall like Wiley Coyote off a cliff. David took the little rock, he slung it with all his might, and it hit Goliath right on the noggin. And down goes the giant. Reese, we really got a lopsided game here. They'll start at the 24. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Brothers hits it on the inside. He gets to about the 34-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches.
So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Rawls on the option. Makes it out to about the 43. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Here's a draw. And he's taken down right around the 48-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Inside give. He's at the 40. He's tackled at the 31. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Tips it away. Hey, Brad, I really don't understand what the offense is doing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they have the lead, and we're late in the game, and they're still throwing the football. And I understand sometimes you want to try to rub it into your opponent's face, but here they're stopping the clock and giving the other team a chance to get the ball back. They hand it off. Makes it out to about the 49. Gutsy play to try to run for the first. They're just short. Well, they had a long way to go and figured the defense would be playing pass. So why not try to pull one over on them? Looks like they've decided to go for it here. One team showed up strong today. The other team, unfortunately, didn't show up at all. Washington State, 42. Louisiana Monroe, 7. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Well, you had a feeling that this one might not be close. You can't fault these guys for not giving it their best. They were just out of their league today. Washington State didn't disappoint anybody who said they were a big favorite here. They did exactly what we thought they would do, and that's put up an impressive win. Here's a look at today's Player of the Game. For Washington State, they continue their winning ways at 4-0. And for the Warhawks, they fall to 1-4, and, and they can't be happy with that. Thanks for being with us for another NCAA Football 13 matchup. I'm Brad Nessler saying so long. For Aaron Andrews and Kirk Herbstreet, we'll see you next week.